Good morning everyone, Redneck Computer Geek here and behind me we've got two golf carts. They're both electric, both donated by a friend of the channel. So here we are, something new for RCG racing once lawn tractor season slows down just a little bit. Let's switch it up and show you what we got. So here we are. This one is mostly complete. Apparently it was up and running recently. It had a rebuild and then stopped working after the rebuild. So we're going to be tearing into that and see what we can do. We're just going to strap in a few lawn tractor batteries and see what we can manage to get it to kick up and do. The front end is all together. The electrical system is all in it. And theoretically the rear end was working at the time. This is apparently a bench seat out of a bus mounted on some other type of panel piece. And it could use a couple of tires. But what I just discovered, thanks to the almighty tape measure, is that apparently these, the bolt pattern, the hub hole, and the rim size on this is exactly the same as the bolt pattern and rim hole on those and the exact same perfectly same as those so the 1045 cub cadet has the exact same rim exact same bolt pattern and hub hole with exact same tires and the 1500 over here has bigger rims bigger tires exact same bolt pattern so we might have to go and see if we can find one of those for a junker upgrade for the rear tires. So this one here has all the pedal assembly, all the brakes and everything are in place. It's an older motor setup with the variable resistor down here that we will probably swap out with a speed controller and see if we can get it running that way. I'm thinking what we do is, if you've seen the electric lawn tractor there over on the Redneck Computer Geek channel, it has a little itty bitty Chinese controller. And I think what we should do is put some low wattage batteries in, give it a, give it a 24 volt controller, and just punch the motor a little bit and see if things will move. Obviously, we're going to lift the rear end and we're going to pull the brakes so that, that way there is no resistance that doesn't have to be there. But I was thinking that might be a good way to test. Feel free to comment down below. This unit, the frame is not in the best condition, but it includes a front end. The steering components for it are actually in the cab of the truck. It came with this electric rear end, the motor for which is yet again in the cab of the truck. This is out of a gas jobby, and if I spin it, you can actually see the axle still moves. It's missing the brakes on one side and something that's supposed to be here. So for you guys that know go-kart type stuff, tell me what that porthole in the side there is for. But apparently it's still got grease inside there because the finger just got greasy from stuffing it in that hole. So she's happy. And then we've got this rear end, which in theory should be good, should be running. It's got the brakes and the brake cables and everything for it. Um, this particular frame on, I think it's on the other side. Let me turn around over here. There we are. See, the frame is really corroded up through on this side. Um, it's nothing that's totally all the way through, but it's still not very nice. So we'll see. I've kind of got a couple of different debates going on in here as to what we should do. A lot of people like the idea of taking the electrics and converting them over to a torque converter with a Predator motor. Um, I've debated that. I've also debated um, the go-kart forward neutral reverse comet uh, transmissions with a Predator, something like that. You know, you can give me all kinds of comments down below as to what you think. 
This is probably going to be an experimental chassis. We're going to throw it together just good enough that if we want to throw something in the rear, we can and play with it. This, we're going to see if we can restore it so that it is good enough electric wise so that we can build maybe a cab over with a 36 volt charging solar on top and then a basic set of batteries here. I mean, I don't intend to go all over Helen Creation. I just want to be able to maybe make kind of a side-by-side -side with a dump bed thing off the rear or something. Um, maybe extend this rear axle back to about here and then make a dump bed off the rear. We could use something like one of those would be about the right size if we put the pivot point here and the axle back to here so that we could dump. I don't know. What do you guys think? Throw me up some ideas. Give me a few hints as to what you would do with it. Um, no matter what, this is probably staying electric. It's just a matter of how we electrify it. That one, on the other hand, that's got potential to become just about anything.